Hi everyone, it's David from Life with Parkinson's. I'm back here with Esther from Shaking in My Boots. She's been doing the 30-day trial for the Villain Ball, and we're really excited to have you back. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. But uh, before we get going into your final results, it would be great just to get to know you a little bit better. Maybe you could talk a little bit about some volunteer work that you do with Parkinson's and a podcast that you're involved in. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm an ambassador for the Parkinson's Foundation, and I am also an advisory board member for their Southwest chapter, which includes Nevada, New Mexico, and Arizona. But mm -hmm. I live in West Texas, but I'm really close to the border with New Mexico. So I am... I am a co-host on the Young Onset Parkinson's Network podcast, Living Well Starts Here. Mm -hmm. And then I have a podcast with uh, some friends of mine that you might know that are also advocates in the community. It's called Unfiltered, and it's with um, George Ackerman uh, from Together for Sharon and mm -hmm. Mark Milo and uh, Melissa Livingston. So those are my buddies, and that's kind of our a fun podcast and then I, I have my own uh youtube channel which is shaking in my boots i'm also shaking in my boots on instagram and facebook but i'm uh i started as a tiktoker and uh you can just look me up as esther with parkinson's mm -hmm. on tiktok so yeah cool yeah thank you very much yeah the podcast sound very interesting so we'll have a few things down in the description below the first will be links to all of Esther's social media pages, so you can follow her wherever you choose. The second will be a link to the Villa Med shop, and then a code that will save you 50 euros off your purchase of a Villa ball if you use it. And indirectly, you will support Life with Parkinson's, and we really appreciate that. Thank you. After 30 days, what are you noticing with the Villa ball? Well, my hand tremor is definitely better. It's definitely reduced. I'm especially noticing it in the morning. So I've been using it during like my off periods and I don't take medication in the in the evening. I take my last dose usually like around seven. Mm -hmm. And so I use it definitely before I go to bed. And then in the morning when I wake up before I take my medication and then one other time during the day. And my tremor has been a lot better so mm -hmm. i think that's like the major takeaway for me because it's kind of hard with parkinson's to know what's helping what because of our medication mm -hmm. um, but since i'm pretty much only using it when i'm unmedicated um it's it's helping me a lot to bridge those gaps when you use it unmedicated is it like helping with your productivity or just helping with yeah, I mean, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and so I have to do things throughout the day, like cooking. Like, when I first got diagnosed with Parkinson's, one of the big problems I had was, you know how they have you do that test like this? Yeah. <laughs> I always had problems uh, flipping things, like when I cook, and then I notice it when I wash my hair, and then when I brush my teeth with a, you know, regular toothbrush so something about that movement i think is really common for people with parkinson's to struggle with and yeah. so anything that allows me to have more range of motion and not tremor when i'm doing that that kind of thing it, it helps me a lot because especially with the hair washing stuff or anything it's like this constant reminder like that your brain is kind of not controlling your body right Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be able to like do those things in those periods of time that normally I would be waiting for my medication to kick in. Oh, okay. Okay. So when you use the ball, you're able to do things when you weren't previously able, like certain tasks. Yeah. I mean, even with the tremor, it's like, I always say I haven't lost any real ability to do anything with Parkinson's yet, but mm -hmm. some things are harder, you know? Yeah. And you can fight through it, but it's kind of taxing mentally. I think more mm -hmm. than anything at my stage, it's like I, I need that energy for other things in my life than like expending mm -hmm. it all on flipping pancakes <laughs> before it's even like nine o'clock in the morning. So yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I couldn't be happier with the, res with the results. I, th I was really surprised about it. And 
I, I can honestly say it hasn't really waned over time. If anything, it's pretty much been, it's been super consistent. Mm. And uh, so I, th I mentioned before, I'm really bad about um, not sticking to things, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and this has been something that I've been really consistent about because like, it's just so easy to use. And I appreciate yeah. that. Well, yeah. Like when we find something that actually helps and actually works, it's pretty, pretty hard not to utilize it and pretty hard to let it go. I totally relate to that. Yeah. I even took it with me when I was traveling and stuff that I, again, I'm like, sometimes I even forget my medication, but this, this little guy, he's been my constant companion. There's no side effects. That's the, it, it's not bulky. You know, mm -hmm. I, it charges really fast. Yeah. I, because it's kind of a convenient size. I usually just keep it, um, like during the day, I keep it on my kind of like end table. So mm -hmm. it's right there. You know, if I'm sitting down or whatever, and then when I go up to go to bed at night, I take it with me and I keep it on my nightstand. That mm -hmm. way I remember to use it before I go to bed and use it when I wake up. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's great. Thank you, Esther. You're very welcome. Thank you for introducing me to my buddy. <laughs> Okay, thank you everyone for watching and thank you Esther for taking on this one month project. We really appreciate it and we really value your input on the villain ball. Thank you. <laughs>